Industrialization is a bedrock of any independent economy. And on those state under the Arakun Riakere Dolu led administration is giving it the importance it requires. In addition to the Ondo Liyin industry and the Ore Industrial Park generally, the administration has commendably been on a mission to build a deep sea port in the Elaje local government area. I haven't spent a fortune already to carry out implementation studies of the project and met with the concerned stakeholders and representatives from the community. The biggest industrial breakthrough on those state has ever experienced in its history is about to be achieved by the Arakun Riakreve Dolu-led administration. Let me give you what I call an ETS guide on this. A deep sea port, it's a project that would span maybe 10-15 years, at the very least. Now, before you do that, you have bathmetric studies, topography, perimeter surveys, you have um, port feasibility. There are a lot of studies that need to be done. We have done all of those. Now, the last set of studies, the outline business case, the environmental impact assessment and the wrap, that is the resettlement plan for people who already live there, who will be displaced by the deep sea port that is going to be built. So we're at the last mile, if this were 100 meters dash, we're probably at 80 meters now. Once the deep sea port, uh, the outline business case, which is the final financial case, once it is ready, which will be in about, um, I think it's about six, six to eight weeks, it will now go to ICRC, the, the infrastructure regulatory body. They will expect them to give us, subject to us giving them a good report, of course, to give us a certificate of no objection, which means that they have no objection to the proposal you have put forward your viability of the port, both of the location and of the deep sea port. From that point, it goes to Federal Executive Council. All of these things I've told you about uh, activities that will span four or five months. For there, we expect a port declaration. It is when the port is declared that construction actually starts. So that port declaration is like a building permit if this were a building. So we're at the point where we're trying to get, if this were a building, a a building permit but for the deep sea port to be a port license that's a port declaration we have a lot of investors who have shown interest in it but everybody's waiting for the declaration because that's the basis on which you call them to see how you can form a consortium that will fund the project the proposed seaport is projected to provide 20,000 jobs to the good people of Ondo state with the port declaration from the federal government which is almost obtained the final piece of pre-construction plan the continuity of the Akira Dolu government would be pivotal in seeing that this lofty vision is completely implemented and launched into operation. Aketi is no joke. Aketi is the answer to our prayers.